girl. Baby 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 girl. Headed to London. My first time over there. I was over there once, but it was just a layover. So it doesn't really count. I will see y'all in London. It's gonna be the time of my life. Of the airports. We're here. I'm about to shake some London ass. How you doing, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Is that a London accent? No. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> we're here, you guys, from the ATL. We're bringing Atlanta to London, and we're going to show y'all how we do it in the A. Made it to London. <laughs> Skittles was taking a shit. No, I'm just kidding. He's in the bathroom. Here's my room. Damn, it's so nice. So beautiful. Finally. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna open this. London. London, we're here. So hungry. That's why I knocked over. <gasps> we made it to London. We're ready. Let me get your outfit. You know, so manager vibes. You know what the f going on. <laughs> oh, I have to get out. Headed to two interviews. The whole thing? Yeah. You know what I mean? I see my butt, but it's really good. Yeah. It's the... That's a good, that's a good pair for it. Is that for the ground? Yeah. Hey guys, what's good? It's your girl, Adi Safara, aka Bad Man Lisa. And I'm the host tonight for B Simone's first ever international show. I mean, I've literally watched the come up. I'm so, so proud. And like, this is a big moment. This is huge. Ooh, be Simone. I mean, look, if you're looking for a five foot three Romeo, look no further. Get the whole package in. Come on, cameraman, get down there. No, get, get down there. Look at the kicks, man. When you ever seen kicks this white? Yeah, blue jeans as well. I'm a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. But don't worry about the hairline, yeah? The further, it goes further back because there's more knowledge in the front. Yeah, if you can see it from the back, mate, wait till you see it from the front. You zim it. So yeah, be some man. Call man up, innit? Excited about tonight? Yes, I'm nervous. I'll be excited when we start. Scared. Very, very nervous, but I'm very excited. We sold out. They already lined up out there. What's your favorite part of it? When, when you're on stage or when it's done? Probably when I'm on stage, when they laugh. That's the best part. Because then you know, like, when you get that first laugh, you're not scared anymore because you got them. When did the nerves leave? When you first hit the stage or? Uh... When I walk out. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walk out. Is it something you do to kind of kind of trap that little bit to get rid of the nerves a little bit just before you go out? No, it's not really ritual. I just pray over and over and over and over and over and over. And I just say, I'm funny, I'm funny, I'm funny. <laughs> they're gonna laugh, they're gonna laugh, they're gonna laugh. What's the best moment you've ever had on the stage? Too many to name. It's different every night. And stand up, you start over every single night is like starting from scratch. So this doesn't feel like this is my 300th show, even though it is. But it's like every night is like day one because every crowd is different. So you don't know how people are going to react. You know, it's not like you're a rapper. They know all the words. They're going to sing along with you. You get off stage. No, you know, each crowd is different. So you just have to hope the energy out there is good. Thankfully, as a comedian, I've never bombed. I don't even like to say that word. I'm never gonna do it. I'm not even gonna speak that. But um, all of my shows have been great, amazing. Like, you know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you are. So yeah, I will see y'all on stage. I'm gonna get ready. Like a house, cause you know what? I'll give a fuck, so here we go. Just blown away. 
away. When they told me it was sold out, I was crying. I couldn't believe it. I was like, do they even know me over there? Like,
you start slurring, everybody start looking for the shit. That great goose got your girl feeling new. Now I'm wishing that I didn't wear these shoes. It's like Earth, so I'ma get up on the do. Paparazzi put my business in the news. Bye. Gels. Okay. So just like clean, different colors, just like to get sure. the mood going. And then he showed me actually there's a nice little place just right next door and there's a rooftop which is amazing. Okay. Yeah, and the then I think we can knock out two, three looks within an hour, 20 okay. minutes. Oh, cool. Yeah. In and the, out. And update Lily can't make it because apparently she's got something personal to sort out. So she's, she's more than happy to finish things early. Oh, great. Yeah. Make sure B feels at home. Skittles, this is a candle. That's crazy. This is lit. Is this like, lit. Literally lit. No, literally lit. <laughs> literally light it right now. I'm in London. I just got done shooting with Viper Magazine. I'm so excited. Swipe up now to see my London vlog and this fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited because last night she smashed her show. Sold out venue. Everyone was laughing. And I just want to say congratulations, Thank Lisa you. Mo. You were there? Yes, I was oh, there. Okay. I was at the back. I was at the back. So you liked it? Loved it. You loved did. it. Everything. Everything, just your stage presence, everything, even bringing people on at the end Good. to win 100, you sold it out. And I feel like for me, how important was that moment for you? I mean, UK, you started off the year, this is your first show. My first show of the year, first my show. first time in London. Wow. It so was crazy. I almost got emotional. I was not <laughs> expecting y'all to be that lit. Yeah, yeah, were yeah. So lit. You had so much of a female audience as well. I feel like yeah. the females loved the you. The ladies love me. It's just relatable. That's what my comedy is, just relatable comedy. Being a young black girl mm -hmm. in America that's single, looking, you know, for love. Yeah. So women can relate to that. Yeah, and I also noticed that at the end you mentioned that um, you've been doing comedy for two years. Yeah. And look at where you are now, being yeah. on and now, mm -hmm. each one, so much things that you've uncovered and just, God has just been blessing yeah. you. And it's just a joy to witness. Um, but you also mentioned about Martin Lawrence and going on tour with that. Yeah. How did that come about? I'm just one of the millennials that's on the tour. My yeah. agency got, gave me the opportunity and 
Um, we sent in an audition tape. Well, not it wasn't an audition tape. It was just Martin to see my stand up, and he liked it. Mm -hmm. I still haven't even met him, so I'm excited. I'll probably meet him the first day of tour. Um, how long is the tour for? How long does it? Take? I think they're doing like 20 dates. I'm doing like seven half of the half of the dates, yep. so like seven of the ten dates or so. Beauty by B. Simone. When yeah. did that start, and how? When did it, the trajectory start going up? Because I feel like last year we started to see it more, and even just looking back on your YouTube videos. When did that trajectory start going up for you? Yeah, um, I've been um, a licensed cosmetologist. I've been doing hair for 15 years and makeup wow. and stuff like that. So um, right out of high school, I went to cosmetology school, did hair, mm -hmm. and I was always into makeup and beauty. And I wanted my own cosmetic line. I was modeling other girls' lip gloss. I have it on now, vsimonebeauty.com. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of my product. It took me a year to make the formula. I didn't just want a private label, like, get lip gloss and put my logo on it. No, I made the formula from scratch for the factory and um, I love it. And we we launched September 15th, 2019. That's my baby's birthday. Wow. And um, man, within the third months we were making, the third month we were making, you know, six figures and it was just, it's just going, 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 going. Mm. So it's, it's a blessing. We're only six months in and I can't wait to see what happens this year. Birthday coming up. Yeah! Oh my Corner. gosh! How you get on my birthday? Do my research, me some more. Well, I think we're getting a gift. Oh no, we got you covered. <laughs> we got you covered. I didn't come in empty handed. But what are you? How are you celebrating this year? This is 2020. I know. It's 2020. And it's a big age as well. And I'm not gonna say it. No, you can say oh, it. Right, cool. I'm so happy about my age. Yeah. Like, this is not back in like the 90s. <laughs> like, oh, I'm 18. <laughs> no, it's 2020. Yeah. So you can do anything at any age. There's entrepreneurs every day that are 40 and up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can't wait to be 30. These are going to be the best years of my life. I love when people ask me. I love, I say I'm 30 now and it's still <laughs> two months away. I'm just excited about it. I feel like I'm walking into like my womanhood and I'm like really, really, really turning into like the boss and the mogul I want to be. So we're trying to have a big party in Atlanta. So y'all got to come. Okay. April 5th. Book Take off tickets. in April to come to the States and we're trying to do it really, really big for my 30th, all my celebrity friends and yeah. just, you know, I want it to be a big moment. We're going to play one game. Okay. So I know the baby. Uh, yes, I know that's your, that? that's your boo. I, I interviewed him last year. Incredible. Did you? Yes, I did. What did he say about me? Oh, we didn't know that it wasn't then that you knew, so we didn't know about that. We had a great interview, um, but I feel like because we both love the baby and we think he's an incredible artist, I'm gonna say some lyrics from some of these songs and see how well you know the baby. I got my man go. Okay, cool. The first one, <laughs> I flew past the whip with the blood in my mouth, watching the swerve in that whip and caught in it. First my of all, your accent is thrown me. <laughs> Cause the baby don't rap like that. He does. So I'm not gonna do it. I went with the block in my mouth. I don't know what song he, he rapping. <laughs> First of all, I pulled up with the whip. Should I do a bit of actions with it as well? You should talk like an American. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do it in the baby's accent. Okay. Um, I flew past the whip with the blend in my mouth, watching the swerve and the whip and I cop in it. My bitch got to fly across the country. I finished the show and I hop in it. Uh -huh. Do you know it? What about it? I mean, you asked me what's next? No, I'm asking you what, what song is. Oh, um, uh, I know it, but, oh, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. There yeah. you go. It took you a while. Can it's you an accent. Tempo. I know, I know, no I know. Accent. Clearly, I'm not a rapper. Oh, damn. Rapper. I don't know what song you said. You freestyle. Damn. Uh, I'm going to do one more. This is obviously clearly going to be the easiest one. Ha, back in the man is gone. She like I swear, no, she clearly does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. sure, sure. Thank you, B Simone, for your time. It's been Thank an absolute you. pleasure. Look at that. 
Girl. <laughs> oh my god. We're running. I left them Nisha and Skittles at because they took Nisha's bag. And I'm at this gate. Our flight is at 2.20. It's 2 o'clock and I have to get on this train. <sighs> Pray we make it. I text them. Directions are so confusing. Oh my god. Look at the people waiting on the train. It's just sitting here. It says two minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Y'all. Y'all. We almost did not make this flight. I was about to leave. By the grace of God. I held up. Nice. I No, for sure. Could you tell them why we got to go? No, for real. Let's talk about it. For real. We're supposed to be at the van at 11 o'clock. Who gets down there at 11 38? Skittles. You wasn't even up. I called you and woke you up. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you did not. I called you. The whole room was dark. Thirty-eight minutes. We could have not waited. No, for sure. Okay, but the problem is, it, it would have got crunch time, and it would have been like, "Hey, they ain't gonna make it." We would have got on this flight. <laughs> That's how loyal of a friend she is. I definitely would have been on the flight. <laughs> Somebody gotta go. No. <laughs> and come back for the others. Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I'd have been like, I'm going back and telling the other. No. Oh she would have been like the little lady on top I'd have been like, oh my God, they shut the door. <laughs> she would be taking us all here. We're taking all around. How far are y'all? Oh my God, she we made it. Googling Egypt. Well, you can at least eat at this spot. I'm while so you hungry. Yeah. I, was, I even thought about stopping. Well, I some cookies. Them cookies you like? With the chocolate chip. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, give me one. Thank you, London. We made the flight back today.